Hey everyone, Robert here, and I am going to do a recording, a live recording for a social media and Facebook alternative called Diaspora. Now, if I'm getting the name wrong, you can copy it or mention it in the comments. But in any case, I wanted to show people an actual walkthrough and sign up as to how you get on the social network me creating a profile and just looking around the the network so that whenever or should you want to migrate off of Facebook and go on to this you'll at least have a test drive through me now let me tell you why I am choosing this and choosing other social media networks and my my three qualifiers for this first qualifiers it has to be decentralized Decentralized means that it's not housed in one location, that it's housed off of several nodes, or in Diaspora's case, they call them pods. Um, it's housed in multiple locations throughout the world and throughout the country. So that's one thing, decentralization. Secondly, it cannot be run by ads. There cannot be any ads in there. Ads are set up by corporations sent across different social networks. And what happens is, is that if those corporations aren't happy with how things are being run on any social network, they can withdraw their ads and withdraw their dollars, thus making the social network change policies to suit the corporations. So no ads. And thirdly, it has to be open sourced, which means that the code is available for any user on any social network. It doesn't have to be this one, but I'm choosing this one, that it has to be available so that improvements can be done by the users. So those are my qualifications. So with that in mind, what I have found out is in doing a search for a dysphoria social network that you have to go through a sign up to dysphoria the the project so it doesn't look like you can access it and I'll have all these links in the description of my YouTube video so people on Facebook if you're watching it there you're gonna have to go through YouTube to get to the links and this video is going to be time stamped so you can skip ahead and the only way to do that is watch it on YouTube okay so let's get started we've already got this link up and running I'm gonna close out of all the other windows and we are going to take a look through here Let's see, guide to choosing a pod. So we're going to go ahead and open this in the new tab and see what we have got here. The short version, click sign up now to find a pod with open source signups and registration. Okay. Pod sign up, okay. Where do I find a pod? What do I need to choose a pod? The short version, okay. And you're probably gonna to have to do a lot of reading and digging around on this like I'm having to do. Let's see. Uh, looks like there is a pod uptime. So, uh, where do I find a pod under that section? Pod uptime. List the information that is most recent to those looking to sign up. So, these uh, different pods and the network is composed of different servers and you can host a pod at your house if you have a server and the bandwidth to be able to do that. It, it, it almost reminds me of LimeWire or Napster. For those of us old enough to remember the early days of the internet and Napster, each computer um, was an actual server where they serve files. It sounds like this is sort of of the same ilk. Let's see. Let's see. Open signups. Okay. Software version. So we want to look for pods that are regularly updated. Physical location. Domain name. Okay. A pod can literally have any domain name. And technically, the name doesn't matter much when you're connecting to the same network no matter what. However, your pod's domain name will be a part 
of a diaspora username. So that's another thing with this network is the um, username. You can set up pseudo names, which means that I do not have to go by Robert Weimer. Um, uh, like on Facebook, you cannot use a pseudo name. It will not allow you to do that. So uh, Diaspora will allow you to do that. Let's see. Can I switch to a different pod later? It's coming very soon. So right now, as of the making of this video, and this is July 4th, 2020, um, you're not able to switch to a pod. Let's see. Can I host my own data? Okay, looks like you can if you have the equipment and the technical expertise. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get out of this and go back. Registration. Let's see. Finish registration by clicking continue to, okay. Let's take a look. Once you have chosen a pod, okay, so it looks like we have to choose a pod first. Okay. And it looks like it walks you through here. The interface. Let's see. Get involved. Blog, wiki, tutorial. Host a pod. Let's join us. So I would suggest that you take a look at the getting started in Diaspora first and go through all the links. It's going to be a little bit of digging and reading. But hopefully after this, you won't have to do as much as I'm doing. Join us. Okay, choose a pod. Let's go ahead and choose a pod. Interesting. Oh, looks like we're back. Let's see, why didn't you choose a pod? Let's go back. Once you've decided which pod is right for you. Let's see if they have any pods on this one. Let's see, version. Can I host my own pod? How to choose how do I choose a pod? Looks like we're back. Maybe it's through the sign up. Let's go ahead and go through this. Let's just jump in. Pod uptine. Auto picky pod use Okay, let's use the pod wizard. Okay, software we recommend Diaspora. Okay, instead of everyone being held to a huge central service or a large corporation, independently run servers, pods all over the world. You can choose which pod register you want. Okay. Hudzilla. Let's see, I connect to other hubs and decentralized network, the grid providing. Looks like you're, okay, radio button, you're only able to choose one. Decentralized architecture. Let's just go with the diaspora. Next. Okay, let's choose United States. Next. Users minimum one. Great. Pod Wizards month online minimum three. Suggest a pod. Months online. Okay, let's. I want to go ahead. 
I don't want one that's been on for three months. The, this network has been around for a while. So let's choose one uh, for 15 months. Suggest a pod that has been around in the United States for 15 months. So now it's thinking. Okay. Let's see. Fifteen of eighteen total. Let's see. Services. Let's see. Country United States months greater than fifteen. Let's see. 117 months. All these look pretty good, but I want to make sure that it is up. Let's see. Users over 99,000. So that's a pretty active one. Protocols. Protocols this pod supports. Okay, let's. Looks like that's irrelevant at this point. Let's see, software. Okay. I wonder what this is going to look like if we click on this. Okay, we're loading data. Interesting. Okay. Okay. If you heard that explosion, it's the fourth here. So, <laughs> let's get out of this window. And I'm coming at it from, I've never seen this before, so I'm kind of doing a little bit of a read through all of this stuff. Well, let's let's go ahead and pick this one. Okay. Interesting. So you have to go through the process of picking your pod by picking your country and picking your uh, the months that it's been online. I would not, I mean, for me, just coming into this, I want something that has been established, so I'm going to pick a pod that has been around for, at the very least, a year, 12 months or greater. And I'm choosing, I'm just going by numbers, I'm choosing the one that has been around for the most months. Looks like this one's been around for a long time. Looks like this one has the most users. So I picked this one, and it looks like this is where you go through and sign up. So it looks like I'm signing up and it has an interface that goes to a particular pod or server that will network into this social network. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, sign in, sign in, create account. Powered by this. Okay, let's go ahead and put in my email, username. Let's just do, um, okay. Nagilam. Let's do password confirmation. Okay, enter the image value. I always have a hard time with these. Ah, eh, I screwed up. Okay, human verification failed. Let's try this again. I think I tend to overthink these things. Let's see. Ah.
Okay, there we are. Folks, sorry, my eyes aren't the best. So I'm going to go ahead and save this password. Um, wants to show notifications. Now, this does not mean show notifications through the network. It means show notification through your browser. I don't want pop-ups on my browser while I'm somewhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and block. And I'm on Chrome. You can change that however you want. Okay, so username Nagila, your photo. Let's go ahead and upload a photo. And I do not have much in the way of photos. Let's go ahead and upload this one. I, I don't mind this picture. Yeah, I'm just a happy bald man. Um, what are you info? Hashtags allow you to talk about interests. They're also a great way to find new people on Diaspora. Uh, let's see. Okay. I like the hashtags aspect of attaching it to a profile. Hashtags are an immediate link to others with the interest. So let's go ahead and put Christian. Ah, cool. Let's see, Christian, um, sci-fi, and I use camel case, and it doesn't take it. So, and camel case means um, some letters are capitalized, other letters are small, they call it camel case, so yeah. Um, sci-fi, fantasy. Let's do, um, conservative well actually I'm a libertarian so oh man this is embarrassing and I'm going to leave this in here I don't know how to spell libertarian <laughs> libertarian yeah Okay, I got it right. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm leaving it in. You can make fun of me in the comments. That's fine. Um, oh, looks like, okay, it gives you four hashtags. Let's just make sure that I've got the four that I want. Um, Sci-fi, fantasy, libertarian. Let's see. Let's get rid of the fantasy libertarian let's do because I want Christian what can we put as a fourth um, humor okay let's do this welcome to diaspora Nagilam this is your stream jump in and introduce yourself okay So, take it easy. Let's see, go ahead and share. Okay. Let's see, control your audience. Uh, use the drop down to change visibility of your post. Okay, we said she made you burst on public. Okay, so. Let's get exit out of here. Uh, stay updated. Your mainstream is populated with all of your contacts, tags you follow, and posts from some creative members of your community. So it looks like the tags that you set up at the very beginning are sort of an intro to tags that you can follow. This is a lot, I mean, that aspect of it is a lot like library. Um, library is a video alternative to YouTube and it allows you to create tags that interest you that you are able to follow by clicking on the tags. And I think that that's cool as opposed to the algorithm telling you what you might be interested in even though the algorithm is wicked wicked accurate okay let's go ahead and get out of this and let's take a look around here um, see my activity stream 
My activity simply means what I have posted. Uh, you should add some more contacts, of course. Okay, so that's my stream or my activity. Let's go ahead and go through stream. And of course, it's probably going to give me a generalized stream of people that are here that it may just kind of look up. It looks like you're able to post pictures. And it looks like you're able to upload video. And of course, this is going to depend largely upon the pod. I'm wondering if there will be like a server storage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the top. We see that the stream, the stream would be like if you're on Facebook, this is your home page. Okay. Your activity, my activity would be like looking at your profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this person. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is like looking at the profile. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and just warn you. If you're going on um, this type of network or any other type of networks, and it looks like um, this is all set up chronologically, another advantage, Facebook, in the in the classic version, it gives you the option of being able to see the the most uh, the your stories and also the stuff with regard to uh, most recent. But in the new version, that is going to be phased out unless they fix it. But this looks like it's chronological. Now, like I said, back to the warning: you're on these networks, it can get pretty raw. So you are going to have to watch some of the posts that are on here. Um, some people take freedom as being able to post all sorts of filth and crap. Um, okay, let's take a look at this. Um, SD started sharing with you. Okay, so this is like our notifications. Mark all is red. I'm going to go ahead and view. Okay, acquaintances. Okay, and let's check our messages here. New conversation, okay. Um, welcome to Diaspora. Okay, so I'm going to leave this and I'm going to read it a little bit later. This is this is actually pretty cool. Um, it looks like... Since I don't have any context, I'm not going to have a way of finding out how to address this. I don't know if it's going to populate the username or if I have to put like an at sign before. Let's take a look at my username and see. Let's take a look at my profile. Okay, Nagilam at... So it looks like... Let's go on a stream. Let's see how to do our messages here. Um, okay, so it... I don't want to do that um, bot of fun okay so let's go into our messages and let's see what happens bot of fun hmm let's go back maybe there has to be an at for a username on here let's see Bot of fun. Let's go to. Let's see. Fun bot. Okay. I'm going to open this up in a new tab. I want to experiment. I'm not going to message this person, but I'm going to experiment. You know what? I bet you have to do the whole thing. And that is their pod. And let's take a look and let because I'm gonna go ahead and do this with uh with a TikTok. Okay, let's do cool. Nice tick tock. And it looks like within the messages you're able to do, oh, it looks like you're able to insert code. 
you're able to um, indent, you're able to link, you're able to insert images, you're able to uh, do headings, italics, bold, and you can do a preview. To preview what you've done, let's see what happens if this works. I'm going to go ahead and send it. Hey, you I need to add a recipient first. Okay. Let's go back to our stream. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. And posts, add contact, family, friends, work, acquaintances, add as a new aspect. It looks like, and of course, I am just, well, let's get out of this. Uh, look, and I'm just assuming here, it looks like you have to have contacts. So you can't really... You can't really just spam people unless they're a contact. That's cool too. Okay, so my activity mentions my aspects. Let's take a look at this. And this is, uh, I wonder if this is going to auto generate some aspects for new people. Okay, family, friends, work, acquaintances. Okay. Let's see, following tags, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so I'm going to look at the Christian tags. This is a lot like, this is cool, this is a lot like library. Um, you're able to follow people by their tags, and you're able to find some with general interest, although I would say that if you're going to do this, you need to check out the profile because library has people, I mean, there's still of the old social media mind. I want to get as many followers and as all this stuff as I can. So you want to make sure that you, if you find someone, like for me and my Christian tags, that they are a Christian and not just using that tag to populate a search. So... Let's see. The idea is general theory relatively. Okay, so let's, okay let, let's move on. Um, let's go back to my stream. And let's uh, take a look at... Let's see. Follow tags. Um, uh, let's take a look at sci-fi here. Okay. So there's this. I'm going to go back to my stream. And it looks like I can add tags. So let's see. My aspects followed tags. It looks like, okay, so I can add a tag. Let's uh, do hashtag Bible. So it looks like, and it'll give you, uh, it'll give you stuff, but we're going to keep it general. Um, Hashtag Trump. Let's do hashtag news. Okay, so you're able to add interests. That's nice. Uh, let's take a look at Trump and let's see what comes up here. And like I said, you may get people. This is really cool, and I like this. You're able to, it's almost like Facebook lists. You're able to create a list populated by people and pages and groups on Facebook that um, appeal to a particular interest. This is a lot easier to get to as well. Um, okay, follow tags. Let's take a look at, of course, I don't have any friends, so I may not be seeing some public activity. Oh, public activity. Oh, public activity. I wonder if this is because um, people put their posts. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to go back to my activity. So we're going to go ahead... And the lag is because of my laptop. It's an older laptop. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to do a little self-promotion here. Um, let 
to you can go here this is for beginners okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to YouTube unfortunately because of the share links on the major social media apps you are not going to find a share link for your um, for diaspora yet okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put TikTok for beginners I'm going to pause it so that it doesn't immediately start. Okay, but I am going to get my share code. I'm going to copy my code. We're going to get out of this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on link. Insert link here. Okay. Enter link description here. Okay, let's, uh, of course we can name it however we want. To, let's make it all caps, how to use for beginners. Okay, let's let's preview and see what this is going to look like. Oh, neat. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, let's let's get a general thumbnail. Okay, I'm going to do this. Oops. Insert image link here. Oh. Okay, so you're going to have to have a a, a spot where you have your images hosted. So that probably is going to go, hmm, okay, and this makes sense, but let's go ahead and upload a photo. And let's go to Documents, Camtasia Studio. This is where I had all of my stuff. And I created a thumbnail so I know exactly what I want. Okay, TikTok for beginners. Open. Okay, let's preview this. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, so let's let's try something here. Let's highlight this and let's change the heading. And let's preview that. Ooh, nice. Okay, I like that. Um, let's do hashtags. TikTok tutorial. Let's drop the S, make it more broad. Um, Let's preview. Nice. So you can specifically target your posts for whoever's there. And it's going to be seen when you use your hashtags, a lot like library. When you use your hashtags, you, you make it so, let's see, all recipients. Okay, so I want it public. I'm going to change the post. I like how things look. I'm going to go ahead and share this. Okay. Okay. This is this is cool. Uh, my activity, let's take another look at that. Oh. Okay. 
nice. So you can use, if you're doing YouTube stuff, and see I'm a video creator on YouTube, if you're able to do that, it puts your thumbnail here. Let's see your out sounds. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's nice. that you use this first. Oh my gosh. It plays within the application. Facebook does not do this. When you when you click on it, it goes to the app, depending upon if you're looking at it through mobile, if you're looking at it through your computer, it, it does things differently. Nice. So I'm able to put up a different thumbnail for this and take up a little bit of realism. Sorry, this is the marketing aspect of me coming out. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, let's go back to my stream. Okay, cool. Let's okay. Let's let's take a look at some of the other stuff that's here. Invite your friends. Let's see what happens whenever we do this. Let's see. Invite people by email. Okay, so you can do that. Um, welcome new users. Um, need help. Okay. Need help. Connect service. Connect services. What is this? Looks like Twitter and Tumblr. Uh, no, I'm not active on either one. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. And uh, no. Okay. Donate. It's always good to donate if you can. Got a problem. And everything's just kind of right there. Okay. So right up around in here, it looks like your main hub is going to be here. Let's see. Be excellent to each other. It's from Bill and Ted. That's funny. Social principles. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm digging. And let's put this, oops, I forgot the I. I'm digging. Let's put that in bold. Looks like, okay, so we're in code. Ah, cool. Okay, so I'm digging. And, um,. What's, what's this one? Insert quotation. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Add a poll. Get your location. And of course, we saw how to do the... You can use... Let's take a look at this. Okay, good. It gives you help as far as your code and what you can put in here as well. Very nice. Okay. So, a little different from Facebook. But so it looks like the only pain in the butt. Hold on just a second. Uh, set up connected services, um, Adam feed, manage connective services. Okay, I'm not interested in that right now. It looks like the only pain in the butt thing that you have to have or have to contend with is the sign up and that's where you get into the reading it's not as easy as Facebook you I right now am on a pod which is a computer or computers set up as a decentralized hub for this architecture and it looks like I'm able to connect with other users on this pod as well as other users across other pods as well now if I'm wrong in that assumption Post it in the comments down below. Um, but I am going to go ahead and sign out. And it looks like you have your profile, your contact settings help. Let's log out. Um, changes may not be saved. I haven't really done anything, I don't think. Okay. So I'm going to put this in as my favorite. 
And let's just put it in, um, I'm gonna put it in my, choose another folder. Let's see, fact checking uh, social media, save. Okay, so it's saved to my social media. So I'm gonna go ahead and clock out of here. Let's open this back up. Oh my gosh, I need a new computer. Okay, we're on social media. Okay, and of course you can name this however you want. And let's sign in. Signed in successfully. Okay. Okay. That's cool. So it looks like it creates its own link. Welcome. Thanks. Bold comment. Yes. All right. Very cool. Very cool. I'm going to do one more thing and then we're going to log out of here. I want to post a link. <clears throat> so let's go back to my stream. And I'm going to put up. Let's go to, sorry if this is going to offend people, Fox News. And let's post a story. Okay, let's do this one. Now I'm grabbing the URL up here. And let's get out of here since I grabbed the URL. Very cool. Okay, hashtag Trump 2020. Hashtag mm, Fox. <laughs> hashtag MAGA. And let's put this in bold. No, let's make this a header and let's add the link. Okay, enter link description here. I forgot what the title was. I want to add the title so that it doesn't have the sloppy URL. Okay, so let's go ahead and highlight and I'm going to copy. And I'm going to control V paste it there. Let's preview what it looks like. Okay. So let's uh, put a space between that. There we go. And let's preview. I like the fact that you can preview everything. So let's do that and let's go ahead and all aspects. Let's keep it on that default and let's share this link. Hmm, no thumbnail. Let's maybe I did something wrong or maybe it takes time to curate. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I refreshed it and it probably took a little bit of time. This is cool. So I can click on there. Oh, awesome, and it opens up a separate tab. Very, very, very good. Not as large a thumbnail, but I don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and log out. Okay. I'm gonna stay on this network, and for those of you who want to get on this, look me up. You know my interest. You saw my uh, username. Look me up. You saw my um, picture, so you know how to find me. I'm going to stay on this network, and I'm going to start curating 
curating. That sounds so businesslike. I'm going to start uh, finding friends on here and start getting more acquainted to this. But like I said before, it looks like the only pain in the butt with regard to this network is understanding what it is, how this network is, understanding pods, understanding how to find a pod, understanding and setting up the qualifications for that. It's the whole sign up thing that is a pain in the butt. And I'm wondering, let's see, because I may be able, oh, wonderful. Okay, let's, uh, wow, let's see what it's like here. I may have gone through it the whole way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a, this way you're not going to have to go through what I went through. And let's see what happens whenever I do a uh, create account. So let's say, and I'm, I've logged out, so let's say I go ahead and do this. Oh man, this was so much easier. But I'm glad I did it the hard way because I showed you what you're having to look at. So going through this way is easier, but I showed you a cool way to sign up for it that is going to be a lot easier than the way that I did it. But I did not know that. So, um, yeah. So the link is in the description. The direct link to the description is in the description to get signed up for this site. And I'm not going to sign up for another account. You may have to go through some of the same stuff that I went through. But at the very least, you're not going to have to hunt around for it. So, um Check it out, look me up, and this is a, I think it's going to have some potential, and I'm going to uh, use this as my Facebook alternative. So with that, I'm signing off. I really hope this helps you out in making a decision as to where you want to go, should you want to chuck Facebook. Later.